Okay, I'm, I should be back up and running now. It should be coming in. There we go. It's starting three, two, one. And we're live. God, I hope so. Come on, face, pop up on the screen. You can do it. <laughs> Am I sitting here talking to myself? Give me a thumbs up if you guys are seeing something in the chat. Okay, I think I'm back up and going. Can you see me? Okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that to go. Hopefully I can stay live for a few. And I do apologize, folks, for... I don't know what the hell's going on, to be honest with you. But hopefully, I, I, I just went up and I reset the entire modem, and then it takes a few seconds for everything to get reconnected up. Anyway, I'm going to have to figure out and, and uh, sp if I have to splice all these together or not. But anyway, this lamp, I finally had somebody message me last week. Hey, what's up, John? I have been suffering technical difficulties this evening. Been up and down twice, back up. This is my third go at it, and I'm hoping that I can stay going long enough to finish this out. As you can see, I only have a couple more uh, sales to go through. But anyway, I um, crappy video is a real thing. It is. And I should have decent internet. I don't, and you know, It's 10 o'clock at night here. It shouldn't be that heavily, that much traffic. But... This particular one, this lamp, I, someone messaged me and they're like, why is that lamp $45 to ship? I'm like, I can't shrink the dimensions. Everything is pretty much hard fixed. You know, I went in, I double checked and uh, the measurements were correct. The weight was correct. So I went ahead and went in and changed the shipping which is really odd. I don't I don't get this. I, I'm gonna have to dig more into this. I went USP parcel select ground, USPS parcel select ground. And as you can see, it is only 15 cents cheaper than priority. So I don't even know why they have this parcel select ground as an option. But anyway, this is a lamp. I mean, it was a pretty cool lamp. My, my first photo was it on. So you could see what type of light that it put out. And then, of course, I did the standard everything on a white background. Uh, but it was a pretty nice little lamp. $20 plus shipping. I was really glad to get rid of it. Take out space. Okay. The next thing we have, I just sold this. Shipped it out yesterday or today. This, um, if you ever look at these Fisher Price classic toy record player music box five records 10 classic songs from your childhood uh there this is not the original original version i believe this one was made in 2010 if it would have been the older version it would have been um it would have been much much um worth a little bit more so you know, I kept dropping the price, dropped. And I think I originally had this listed at twenty or eighteen, and dropped the price, dropped the price, dropped the price. Finally, eleven ninety nine, and it sold out the door. Okay, now for what I consider the fun stuff, because if you're like me, your favorite part of reselling is the sourcing, and this is it's going to be a combination of the auction, some garage selling I did today. And I had a bag I didn't know if I covered last last time or not. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll just go through this. This is a I'm gonna say this is a vintage Looney Tunes blues backpack. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm, you're gonna start calling me John at Nevermore Antiques because. 
I'm starting to sniff things. I thought it was pretty cool. It's got this leather with embroidered Tweety on it. There's a leather patch there. Basically, it's just a canvas strap backpack. And it's just, you know, denim. Nothing spectacular as far as pockets or made in China. Do not wash. No lavar. So, made in 2000. Can you pull my door closed, please? Can you guys, can you guys close the door, please? My door, please. It's it's nature. It doesn't need to be talked over and over again. Sorry. <laughs> um, I guess it does have a couple little pockets here in the side, or one. So anyway, I th this I paid I think a buck and a half for. I'm probably hoping to get at uh, fifteen to twenty dollars, maybe um, closer to eighteen. So that is what that is. Garage sale. Well, let's go. Let's go auction first. I just actually pulled this up, and I don't know why I left it down. I was going to pull up my... Um, getting crazy here with my screen switches. I'm like... I understand I have an overactive dog. That's what they're talking about. Um, I'm just pulling my invoice just so I can make sure I take I don't I typically have it sitting here in front of me but I don't know where I said it I probably left it in the truck so again my this is how well I prepare for these live shows um, as you can see very little winning one okay so the first thing we're going to go over are these, um, I don't even see, oh, Jekyll and Hyde photos. Now, I don't know anything about these. I paid $3.50 for them, and I, let me switch, oh, let me switch over to the screens here, and then let me make sure I can read the chat, because uh, there we go, okay. So this is from a movie, and to be honest with you, I don't know much about the movie. I don't even know if I've ever seen it. Let's see, Jekyll, and I'm gonna, I'm just pulling it up right now, and hide together again. So I don't know if this is the movie or if it was the play. Looks like it was 1982. This looks like their photos more from a play, but we'll we'll look at it. theater licensing this material. License licensee agrees not to trade, sell, or give it away, or permit others to use it. Nor shall license. Anyway, <laughs> basically, it, th th here's some examples. I don't even know who was in it. Let me look at the. Um, another one but I mean they're about 8 by 10 maybe this one's kind of odd check out that chick right there Jekyll and Hyde together again like I said I, these are going to be lotted up I don't even know where to go with it so your guess is going to be as good as mine whether I, um, I, I mean, I'll, I'll make my 350 back, or it'll sit in my sit in my inventory for quite some time, or I'm planning to do garage sale soon. So that is that was a three dollar and fifty cent purchase, and you guys ought to let me know if you think that was a poor purchase or not. The next thing we have from the auction is. 
I bought a lot of... I'm just going back. Okay, I want to leave that right there. I bought a lot of um, fish decor for $8.50. And I'll show you what I got. A cool wooden picture frame. This is an odd one to me. Okay. I don't know if this was handmade or what, but it has a trout. I can't see how much I'm, I'm actually showing. Okay. It has a trout coming out of there. It's got a bass on the front. It's got all these stickers that were like shellacked on there. And basically um, this one is, it has rainbow trout, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, brook trout. So it must be, it might, maybe it's fish that are um, indigenous to this area, or is that the right word I'm looking for? It talks about how to tell, oh, there's a Chinook salmon. All these fish, I know I, I've caught all of these fish here in this area, but it's a pretty good size little picture frame with um, a faux leather strap. It, it, it's made to look like a krill, I think. But I don't know, I, I thought it was pretty cool. So you have to tell me by the time I get through this lot, if you think, it was worth eight fifty. This, I believe, is a trout. Uh, here. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Um, it's a vase. <laughs> I mean, where do I where do I find this stuff, huh? Yes, there are brown. There are actually brown trout. <laughs> There's uh, brown, rainbows, um, brookies, uh, which are just really, um, I can't tell you all the different, there's, there's one up here you can't, I don't want to show my ignorance. Um, of course, there's Billy Big Mouth Bass, I'm hoping it works, it has a this I don't know if there was actually a Christmas version or if this is something this almost looks like something no that hat is actually stitched on there so um, it'll be interesting to find out how well that works but you know these things sell I think Billy I think uh, I think he's probably 25 30 ish some of the other ones sell for more but you know, in the condition he's in, I may be looking at closer to the twenty to twenty-five dollar range. Here is some kind of platter. This one will probably go garage sale, and just mainly because of the condition, it's got some wear there on the of the paint there on the tail. Dang, you hit the fish jackpot! Whoop whoop! But it's got one of those little plate holders or something. I don't know exactly what that is. If you guys know in the chat what these things are that's on, around the plate. It's got like a little spring thing. I thought it was like to hang on the wall. But anyway. I'll leave that attached for now. And my last little fishy. Just a little wooden fish. Coat rack, coat hook, or maybe a key holder. I don't know how well these are going to do. But, um, yeah, eight fifty for that box, for that lot. Um, some things I don't have in here that I picked up at the auction. That, uh, just to kind of give you an idea, some stuff I did. I bought a higher uh, mini refrigerator. I paid $17 for that. I mean, it's like one of those small, I can't really, 
it's probably you know probably from my belly to my neck tall um i bought these cool looking ceramic I, well i think they're actually coasters <coughs> let me show a picture of those um I'm trying to each one of these pieces. There's like a piece of bread with some mayo on it, a piece of bread with some mayo on it. Then you have, I don't know what kind of meat that's supposed to be. Maybe a hamburger. I don't know. An onion, a piece of lettuce, a cheese, a tomato. And when they all stack, stack together, um, it looks like a sandwich. <laughs> I gave those to Kat. She, um, for her kitchen decor, decor. That is not porn in the back, by the way. It is a, a movie, a movie ad I was on IMBD. That's terrible. What? Okay, we're going to go over that here in a minute. Let me transition back out of there. Go back over the chat so we can talk more. Um... <laughs> Now, uh, what else did I pick up? Did, uh, I got me all flustered with that picture in the background there. What the heck was that noise? Um, now I completely lost my auction uh, invoice. Oh, I bought two pi pipe wrenches. It was like... You know, I don't know much about pipe wrenches, except I know that I needed some. So one was like a 17-inch pipe wrench. No. Yeah, one was 17, one was 20. So I'm thinking, I'm going to get a pipe wrench this big and one this big. I mean, they were like long. To, I mean, the one was like lean over into frame. I mean, it was like that long, and the other one was just a little shorter. It, no, it was. it said 7 and 9-inch pipe wrench. That's what it said. And so I thought they were going to be real short. Well, come to find out, that is the how wide, when they put the measurement in there, that's how wide the dang thing opens up. So I ended up with better pipe wrench than I thought. I think I gave $3 a piece for them. And uh, that is a decent deal for some pipe wrenches check them on ebay because that's how i price that's how i check everything before i buy it i pull comps and see if i can get it cheaper on ebay or not uh, I'm pulling, so there's two pipe wrenches i paid three dollars a piece for i got the refrig mini refrigerator for 17. so just another way you're making you're actually making money when sourcing when you can find stuff that cheaper when you're saving money and my phone just died so wife if you're watching this while you're out and about and you're trying to call me it's because I'm not answering because I'm trying to ignore you I'm not answering because my phone's dead just a disclaimer there um, the other thing I got was Again, I missed out on quite a bit of stuff just because stuff went went way higher than I was really willing to go. Oh, I didn't bring that in. Oh, here, never mind. I did have one more show and tell. This I paid um, probably a little bit more than what... I should have, but, and this is, this is another example of, you need to make sure that you, that you, um, you look very closely when you're buying on these online auctions, but I, I mean, I'm still going to make my money. I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll explain the story. I paid $32 for the contents of this bag. And I just want to make sure I get the chat so that if anything pops up, never say that ain't isn't porn in the background. 
I'm just trying to get y'all's attention. See who's who's listening. Okay, so here's what. This is what I bought. Okay. If you don't know what this is, when it was sit kind of like that in the picture, I actually thought the entire CPAP machine it was in there. Um, if the entire CPAP was in here, you're talking at going to auction, it could probably bring closer to um, anywhere from five. Let's just say conservatively four, four fifty, up to six hundred dollars for a used CPAP machine. If I if I looked at that correctly. So what basically happened, and this really doesn't look like it was ever used, but these pieces, if they're open, don't sell the masks um, unless they're sealed in package. The um, th this is basically this is what. If you haven't ever seen these, this is a full, a full face mask. So that fits over your mouth and your nose. And the machine actually feeds in air through here. And it kind of, it, it does something with knowing um, this will not be sold locally. These, and I, this all, the, I do all this um, online. The, and this is why, this is just a part, the reservoir that... Um, holds the water. I mean, it is in brand new condition. There's another unit that plugs in here that's kind of the brains of the outfit. This is just a humidifier. This will go, uh, it'll probably go pretty quickly for around $30 to $35. Um, this mask, I'll have to look at this particular one. But I sell these, every time I pick these uh, masks that are new in package, you're talking anywhere from 20 to 30, 35-ish on this mask again. So I know between those two parts right there, I have, um, I, ha I have my money plus some profit in it. And like I said, these masks, whether they're, I mean... They really honestly do show nowhere. I know what they look like when they have been used, but there's no way I would sell these. Um, the cushions, that's what these are. Basically, the cushions fit into the mask part. And, uh, yeah, I mean, these pieces here, they break quite a bit. I know I'm a CPAP user. Um... I have not had any problem selling them on eBay. <clears throat> so I will continue to do so until they start pulling my listings. I and that maybe that's why the 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 brains of this isn't there, but you can buy parts for CPAPs all day long. I buy I buy my parts from them. So are they gonna keep kick me off, kick me off eBay because I'm selling CPAP parts? Well, I'll, that'll be a conversation for another day. I hope they not they don't, but um, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna be a rebel that that way. Uh, so that pretty much covered everything I got at the auction. Now to garage sale stuff. I mean, we can. I guess I could have showed. Um, I'll have to research that. Can you resell? I'm going to look. I have to find, I have to see it from your, from a verified source. I think there might be an issue with the machine itself, but the the pieces, I don't think that it's... Um, I don't know if... I, I, I don't know if there's an issue. I, I will do my research and see what they say, but as I have not had any problems or been contacted for selling the, the cushions 
Um, that's the primary thing I've sold. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sell that. I, you would think that if it was, um, I don't know. We'll see. That may be for another video. Hey, what's up? Rise and grind. Rise and grind. I I think the medical equipment. Like I said, there are two pieces to this, and I'll do. I will do my do some more research, Michelle. There's two pieces to this, and you can see it's missing half of it. The half that fits over here, and maybe I'm just trying to skirt around the the fact. The half that fits over here is the brains of the outfit. That's the part that the doctor has to set. Um, that's where all the programming is. So I, I, I will do further research and see if I can get a definitive answer. But um, I, I will we'll, we'll discuss it. I'll, I'll look, do, see what I can find out um, and get back with y'all on that one. Okay, off to garage sale world. Some stuff, let me just go to the order I picked stuff up. First garage sale today on the way to work. I picked up Lord of the Rings Risk. Hey, mine to, okay, let me see where y'all at. Uh, what's cracking my back? This is, I, I believe this is probably complete. I mean, it, it looks pretty complete. You can see the board, great condition. I really don't like selling board games that much just because from my location, it seems like everything is um, precious. It comes with an instruction booklet. There's all the pieces. All the cards, I will go through and count everything. And the ring. Let me see what happened down here. Okay. People tearing shit up. People tearing it up. Tearing up the house. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let it burn. Okay. Oh, man. Is that the wrist version? That thing is money. I hope it is. I, I The thing that I have to perfect on games is I need to perfect shipping from my location. And I'm hoping that since I started using... Um, Pirate ship on some smaller items. I hope this doesn't exceed their the range that it, it um, you get the significant one ring to rule them all, my precious. So that maybe it will be my precious. Yes, I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. One of the, one of my favorite books of all time was um, The Hobbit. So. Four dollars for the game, and like I said, it. Uh, yeah, I need. To, I, I need to start using more FedEx more often. Next yard sale. This, uh, yeah, I picked up some more Nerf stuff. Nothing spectacular here. Just add to my lot. I actually gave probably more than I should have on these, but um, I did five dollars on the two. Mainly because, you know, these are single action. Well, this one has, um, it's the revolver. I've got another one over there. But basically, I don't know why. It seems like that should pop all the way up. Maybe I'm just not. Oh, uh, you can load them in there. Pop it closed. 
So it's still single action, not as desirable as the automatics that you know are pat battery operated. This is the same deal. It does come with a the extended um, stock. But I don't know if that's all there. That just it looks weird to me. The way it, um, that piece sticks out like that. So I'm going to have to do some research on this particular one. I don't know what this piece is here. It just looks weird sticking out. Okay, and, and again, even though it's got the... Magazines, I just drop one out but still rod everything i have ran on pirate ship has never been lower you know it's 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 a size thing as i scream into the mic i can give you some examples um what did I sh Oh, I, those VHS tapes. If I would have sold, I I went through and um, I'll show you what it, what it, what they were that you're in. Let me transition. These tapes here that I bought, there was twenty of them VHS. They're like nine pounds, roughly. Well, close to ten, nine and a half, ten pounds. And if I would have. Um, I, I was able to get it to get it. F this 923 is not what it. Um, that's what it would have cost to ship them to myself from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Uh, to actually ship them to their location, it was going to cost. I think it was like tw right around twenty dollars, but they. Um, when I sold it, it went to. I mean, when I actually shipped it through Pirate Ship. It, it took it down with the dimensional weight. The cubic rate was right around $9 and something. Um, I, I don't know if that's the ones I sold a couple weeks ago, but I, I sold a couple of them. There, there was one model I sold for... Um, zines are worth that. Eight plus. So um, I picked them up anyway. I enjoyed the hell out of chatting with people at the yard sales today. First time I'd gotten out in a while. Okay. This is what I think is freaking awesome. This is a Japanese fishing float. I do not believe this cord right here. I clean some of it off. Probably take my power washer to it before I list it. But this is a large one and the only problem i can't tell if what that color of the glass is i'm gonna have to um I, there's a, it's a oh there's a marking right there um rod it so is it is it the bigger the item the less the cost i have had some pretty small packages and the same rate as eBay. That's very interesting. Um, for me, it's been the smaller the items, the larger savings I've I've gotten. I think I think what it is. Let, let me correct that because I just started using it. I think it's um, small and heavy. I th I think that's where you're going to see the larger difference. Like those tapes, t um, ten. Let me just go th go back. I'm going to see if it'll actually show me. I don't want to show any. I'll kind of go over if I can real quick. Okay. Let me. I'm just going to show. Make sure I'm not showing any. Personal information. me just a second while I try to get this set up so I can actually do, do my screen share and this was going um, to Iowa uh, 
okay. I think, okay, I got it. I found official info on CPAC. Okay, I will, if you wouldn't mind sending me where you're looking at that, I, I will, um, I will take a look. I think I, my email, I've been trying to put my email down in my description. Okay, so this is those tapes. As you can see there, um, nine by seven by six. So it wasn't an overly large package, but the, the weight was 10 pounds. So through, if I went parcel select, let me just go, comp let's compare um, delivery services. So, you know, parcel select, I went in and shipped it priority. Priority was twenty five ninety nine if I went through eBay. That would have been my cost. Z rid. I yeah. I'll I will. There's got to be some reason why why I can get by with selling the cushions. Is it because I don't know? I'm I I want to. I, I definitely want to look into it and make sure that I'm not breaking any any rules so thank you for letting me know that i was not aware and i will definitely be doing um doing the the research so now i'm gonna transition back so now you can see those tapes and i think it is the weight of them it's going to be 25.90 to ship i'm going to go ahead and log into my uh pirate ship I always, the, the one thing I do recommend if you do use it, I always look at, um, let me see who I, I always look at the, compare both. I mean, it, it's not an all or one, all or none. I mean, it's like some things I will use eBay for, some, some places I will use, uh, I'm trying to find where did I put that okay I just gotta see who it went to okay there we go Patricia Smith new details I'm trying to pull it up right now where does it show the oh here it is okay So here, here you can see that that package going through Pirate Ship was thirteen seventy six. So I think it is. I think you're gonna have to look at the size, and then, um, and and weight. So I think the smaller the size, the bigger the weight. I think that's where you're gonna see the larger savings. Okay, what's next on my list of things? Oh, this, I, I was going over this. $3 I paid for this. And honestly, I'm going to have to, you know, probably, I don't think it's, the more I look at it, I don't think it's clear. But, you know, I'm colorblind, so what the hell do I know? I almost see maybe, I don't know, I'm not even going to pretend. Do you guys see color to that? I googled it, Michelle. I and I will pull them from the list if I'm not supposed to sell them. I don't want to break eBay rules. Y'all know I love eBay. But anyway, I'm probably gonna go high on this just because of the size. Um, probably shooting for seventy to eighty dollar range. But you know, I may be dreaming. It could be only worth about forty or fifty. What's going on? Great for shipping gold bars. Yes. Tell her I just... Um... It's like... Psst, psst, psst. Look at your tags. Look at your tags. Psst. I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably in trouble. Oh, actually, I, I don't know if they're back yet or not. Okay. 
But yes, Michelle, I will be looking at that. Um, this small one I gave a buck for. These are all, I believe they're, I mean, they're, they're blown glass. At first I had to ask what this one was. I, I honestly didn't know because it doesn't have anything in it. And it, they're, they're, um, they're Japanese floats, like fishing floats. They're blown glass. At least I believe this one is too. Look them up, especially these. And the, the plus thing on this, I think, is going to be the size. There's a lot of smaller ones that include the net, but the larger ones, I think, are harder to come by. So those are probably my best finds um, today. Uh, let me call. Let me see. I want to see what did she just. Okay. That was an hour ago. I don't even know if I. I apologize. My wife, I think, is trying to text me and I don't know. Okay. This, I mean, I pick up with stupid stuff. I didn't understand Captain Crook. That must have been early McDonald's. It is a McDonald's glass. I think this is the 70s era. Big balls are sought after even if they are blue. <laughs> I like ginormous blue ball. I do not. That sounds like nothing but trouble. Okay. I don't see any text. Oh, there they're coming in. <laughs> okay. I will try to be quieter. I will try to be quieter, uh, not much longer. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I didn't even realize what time it was, so I apologize for keeping you all up. Again, not so much of a good item. I'm thinking maybe eight, seven, eight bucks plus shipping on that. I have the Smurfs. This I think I paid five dollars for. Cat loves the Smurfs. I don't know if she'll want to keep it or sell it. It is um, numbered number seven sixty six of six thousand, but it plays music. I won't go into that because there are people trying to sleep. And I think this is the last two items. Yes. Five dollars. This is a composite doll. I think these clothes were probably put on um, after the fact. It does have some damage here on the back leg where the cloth has been opened up. You don't care if you keep us up. <laughs> I, you're right. I absolutely don't. But. Um, it must have had some hair at some point. I thought it was a piggy bank at first, but you can tell by the change of color. There is some crack crackling. But um, I do pretty good with old stuff like this. I, I don't love dolls. I love to sell dolls. And you thought that one had a rough life. This is the kitty. And it is missing a lot of fur definitely showing signs of age it's lost an eye at some point but somebody will show it some love it's got a nice little tail there no markings whatsoever so I really have no clue what this is but I paid five dollars for the pair okay the very last thing I was going to cover tonight was I had one sale that was actually canceled on me after the buyer um, 
won the auction, it actually showed sold paid, but it was immediately canceled. And I got an email from eBay. Let me get my chat back up so I can. He must be a bank because his head is bank slotted. You know, I thought that, but I almost wonder if that's where they put the the hair might have gone. Because you can see there's like a bald spot where the color is completely different. But, I mean, it would... What the hell was the pig toy you just showed? It was not a pig. It was a cat. <laughs> He's got a long tail. Don't. She didn't mean it, kitty. She didn't mean it. You don't look like a pig. <laughs> that sucks, Shane. Taxes suck. Okay, so I'm going to go over. Okay. And, you know, this, this buyer might have just been new to eBay, but I sell these VHS tapes at auction. And I'll actually show. This is them. I shouldn't be probably shouldn't be showing users. It's this item right here. Uh, sorry, oh, I can't. I, I can't even look at the. Um, I can't even look at the transaction right now. But basically, I got this email saying we had cancel. We had to cancel bids for buyer this buyer, um, and the the item. We also made it easy to release your item it, item if it was removed. Uh, and it tells me where I can find, uh, for more information, visit. And basically what happened was this buyer was a brand new buyer and was not verified on through um, PayPal. Um, although I am no longer available in search listings, you will find it in the sold section of my eBay and tells me where to look to help you avoid the situation in the future, future. Consider setting a buy it now price and require buyers to make an immediate payment for more information on that, which I found this very interesting because through the app, it tells you, I mean, a lot of times it tells you your best option is going to be using, um, <laughs> it's okay, kitty. She didn't mean it. Um, when you use the app and you're listing, it really tries to push you towards auctions. We recommend you take the following actions if the buyer, if this buyer won the item. If you haven't received payment, don't complete the sale or send the item to the buyer. Don't communicate with the buyer directly. Verify any payments you've been notified of by logging into your PayPal account. If the buyer requests a refund or additional payments, don't send any money without contacting eBay first. If you already sent the item, try contacting the shipping carrier to find out if you can stop shipment. <coughs> in, all the, in these types of situations, we may at our sole discretion, decide whether to credit the fees or remove listings. <laughs> it's okay, kitty. Um, so I thought it was very interesting that eBay canceled the purchase. Now, they have to work on their timing because I actually already printed the shipping label and it was on the way to the post office. You know, my wife, Kat, was doing... Um, errands and was including that in uh, including my post office run in her errands and when I saw this email 
I immediately contacted her and said, hey, the long slender package do not drop off. The one that's going to, and I I told her the the location. It was, I, I think it was actually, um, it was an international. So I said, don't drop, drop the package off. So A, I thought it was pretty cool that I, I they, there, it, I mean, it does, if you guys have seen this before, let me know. Um, but it's the first time I had experienced this. And so I, just, I, I, I don't know if this is the step towards, you know, when they're talking about the seller protection, but it was a, it was an attempt. It just wasn't a very good one, very well executed one. I don't believe just because it took, I could have already sent the item out, you know, by the time I received this letter. I was just fortunate enough to read my email before doing so. Anyway, I thought, you know, I do auctions on, I don't do a ton, but there are certain things that I'm, I'm experimenting with auctions. And, and this media I, I talked earlier about, I'm trying to um, do more of. So anyway, I know that it was a long stream tonight. I apologize for the um, everything that I screwed up on earlier. I, well, it was my internet connection. I don't know what the hell was going on. But I apologize for all that. I appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out with me this evening. Um, I want to have to start trying to do these more more often or earlier at, 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 the, at the least. Because I know that... It's 11 o'clock here, and I, I need to be more considerate of my loved ones, the people that... <laughs> it's okay, kitty. It's okay. <laughs> um, so anyway I, that's really why I have to get on the ball and um, because I'm, I'm keeping people awake because I like to get loud and <laughs> that's just me but I do appreciate y'all coming hanging out this evening and bearing with all the stuff that um, that I all my antics and having to get up and run and you know, living life while I'm trying to do live streams at the same time. So anyway, that is it. Thanks for passing on the information about the CPAP stuff. It gives me something. And I, I'm not saying I don't believe um, people. I just I just like to see the I, I, I just like to see the um, make sure I have a full understanding. I'm the guy that always asks why. But um, I will definitely be looking into that and not listing those either. So thanks for letting me know. But anyway, that's it for tonight. It was, again, it was a long one. I think a couple hours. Um, I, 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 yeah. But uh, anyway, that's it for tonight. We will catch y'all later. Me and my kitty is strolling down the end. We're going to take off and head to bed. Anyway, that's it for tonight. And catch you later. Peace out.